Hey guys, what up? It is Lexi here and today I'm going to be giving you guys a reaction video and today it is going to be a reasons Alan Rickman was the best human ever. Now in case for those of you that don't know, I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. I grew up with Harry Potter. Um, I started watching the movies when I was like a toddler and you know reading the books you know as I got older. But Alan Rickman is one of my, was one of my all-time favorite actors. He still is. And he was also my celebrity crush as a kid. I know I'm not the only one. And he kind of still is slash was. And I keep saying was because he died in 2016. I have done a tribute video for him before, which is in my celebrity tribute playlist. So if you guys want to check that out, it is within that playlist. And I will try my best to um, link that playlist in the description for those in case you don't want to see my tribute video to Alan Rickman. But um, I've never seen this video before, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect from a video. But I have a feeling some of them is going to be, or most of them are going to be Harry Potter related. So, um, the most I will say that is because since Alan Rickman has been gone since 2016, I really do miss him and cancer really does suck. And in case for those that don't really remember, he had pancreatic cancer and he basically died from it in January 2016 at the age of 69. So, um, knowing that, let's jump into this video and see what it is to be expected. And to Ron Weasley after he did a doodle of Professor Snape? How did Alan Rickman manage to prove that magic outside of Hogwarts is actually possible? And which secret of Harry Potter did J.K. Rowling reveal only to him? Hello, my name is Dylan. Let's raise hey, Dylan. our wands for the fifth anniversary of Alan Rickman's death. Fought That's Harry Potter, but video. children That's still so loved sweet. him. When the Harry Potter family had visitors to the film set, Alan Rickman could be easily recognized by the throngs of children he used to bring to the canteen. It was odd to see an adult actor eating there surrounded by little boys and girls. Even Otter was imagining Severus Snape, this tough villain in his completely black casual robe outfit, chatting with a crowd of happy kiddos. Sometimes there were 300 Aww. children on set, so you have to understand what you're in the middle of," the actor said to Empire. There was a particular reason why Aww. Alan was so fond of kids. Married to his childhood sweetheart Rima, he always wanted to become a father. Finally, he had to put his dreams aside because his partner didn't want kids. Sometimes Are I think serious? that in an ideal world, three children aged 12, 10, and 8 would be dropped on us and we would be great parents for that family. So he was there for the little Potter stars, treating them as peers. Oh Daniel Radcliffe God. said in his heartbreaking uh, he tribute, as an actor, he was one of the oh. first of the adults on Potter to treat me like a peer rather than a child. Working with him too. at such a yeah. formative age was incredibly important, and I will carry the lessons he taught me for the rest of my life and career. Rickman even yeah. gifted little Dan a copy of his favorite book, The Catcher in the Rye. They were that close. Aww. You can tell by reading his thank you letter from Rickman's archive, which was made public. On top of that, his diaries what? will be published as a book in fall of 2020. We can't wait. Big I fan of pranks. Of what if, and stay yet. with me here, I told you the head of the Slytherin house was very much into pranks. The Potter dream Please team had so many hilarious situations on set, you would never movie. believe it was a serious Hollywood Please production. Remember that scene in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of yes! Azkaban where oh the students God, are sleeping I on the floor this. of the Great Hall and Dumbledore and Snape are watching Harry? Well, Rickman and Gambone were trying to stay in character when a foreboding silence was broken by... I've also videos I think I did for before. both Alan and yeah, Michael. you heard that right. Turns out Radcliffe had asked to be placed next to the girl he had a crush on at the time and, surprise, in order oh. to embarrass him as much as possible, Rickman put a remote-controlled fart machine nearby. He kindly <laughs> gave the remote control to Michael Gambone. Professor Dumbledore also likes having fun, huh? It all ended up with the whole cast and crew <laughs> bursting into laughter. They were Just another racers. essential part, I, I, I mean, part of Rickman's brilliance. Action! <laughs> For now, let them sleep. We've just done a take, right? We've just yeah. finished a take, and it's taken ages to get it. In our dreams, oh, young they were. we enter completely our own world. You know, it's completely our own world. And we like to, we like to swim in the deepest waters. His method acting could freak out anyone. Alan 
Alan Rickman always Dr. referred Man. to his role as He's Snape as a, a punctuation actor. mark in his life. As he told the Los Angeles Times in 2011, because I would be doing other things but always come back to that, and I was always aware of my place in the story even as others around me were not. Even Chris oh. Columbus, the director of The Philosopher's Stone and The Chamber of Secrets, confessed to being extremely intimidated when he met the ex-star of Die Hard. However, afterwards, Obviously. he was so pleased to discover what a kind person Alan was when he stepped out of character. It took a couple of seconds Obviously. after putting his cloak on, and voila, he was walking and talking like Snape, which could freak anyone out. Doodled by Ron Weasley. Such a good actor, Though man. associated so with his Snape gown, wig, and unmistakable voice. Rickman was the coolest person in real life, a generous soul and really a guiding was, hand for man. his younger co-stars. Really Rupert Grint, who played him. Ron Weasley, called him a great gentleman. In fact, the sweet redhead had the loveliest bond with Alan. An 11-year-old kid at the time, he found the defense against the dark arts professor really oh, scary yeah, and once was I caught drawing this. a caricature of him. Yes, Quite a typical this. thing for a child to do, except that he did it to a multi-award winning actor. See how it turned out. One time's in potion lesson with Snape, he was really scary. Yeah. Um, I was just doodling my quill in the book. I drew this rather unpretty picture of Alan Rickman. And um, as I was drawing it, Alan Rickman was standing right behind me and I was so scared. <laughs> I made him sign it and Aww. I have it in my possession. <laughs> and Aww. I'm very fond of it. We remember Alan embodying Aww. several villains. As a veteran actor, he That's didn't sad. have to be a good dude off screen. Though he was, by his own choice, a generous friend, he a really leader, was. an activist, a mentor, and a kind friend to all the kids of the Harry Potter cast. Realized a terminally ill boy's dream. Do you know the Master of Potions actually didn't really need any elixirs to make dreams come true in the real world? Listen to this touching story of Paula Dupree Pesman, producer of the first three before. Harry Potter films and organizer of set visits for terminally sick children. She told several stories of the actors being so sweet with these kids, concluding to Huffington Post, that's the purity of Harry Potter. But one of these visits really felt like experiencing magic okay. outside Hogwarts. This boy's name was Jay. He was diagnosed with stage 4 neuroblastoma and couldn't wait to see his favorite actors. Alan oh Rickman met him, and they had a heartwarming talk. It turned out Jay was so knowledgeable about Alan's filmography even beyond Harry Potter. At the end, Jay smiled shyly and added that he's always wanted to be in the film. And so the magic began as Jay then became an extra on the set of The Prisoner of Azkaban during Professor what? Lupin's Where? Bogart class. Alan looked at me, and he kind of went into a Snape mode in costume and said, Why isn't this child in the film? Told Dupree Pesman. Everyone had a good laugh, and Alan took him by the hand and put him into the crowd of kids as they were panning across. The back of him's actually in a shot. While the scene wasn't used in the edit, it made Jay so happy. By the way, oh the magic didn't stop there. Paula Dupree Pesman then founded There With Care, an organization that helps families with children who are facing serious illnesses. To his poker face in the Great Hall scenes. Have you ever wondered how Alan Rickman managed to keep his stone-cold face sitting firmly at the head of the table during the Great Hall scenes? How he retained yes. that aura of dark mysteriousness he had? Well, he was listening to his iPod. I started to wonder, what? what does Alan Rickman as Professor Snape listen to on his iPod? I don't know, I never did ask him, and I wish I had. I'd love to have known, recalled actor you Warwick Davis, who played him, Professor Mom. Flitwick. I've heard this the somewhere. wig helped the I headphones remember. go unnoticed, and the long cape was useful to hide the device he got as a gift from some award show. Wow. Young co-stars Oliver Sneaky. Phelps and Ivana Lynch remember him casually asking them to explain how it worked. It was very funny watching wow. how he could go from one minute as Snape to the next minute as Alan Rickman. Very personable, recalls Oliver. He Helped design incredible. his costumes. It's impossible to imagine Severus Snape without his billowing cape. Costume director Janny Tamim said it's her favorite one. Alan Rickman himself was involved in yep, developing the idea, knowing there should be a lot of buttons and the sleeves should be sufficiently tight. Remember that scene yep. with Malfoy and Snape and Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince with Rickman in costume crawling on the floor and leaning next to Malfoy's lifeless figure? To mime recalls, he did that 20 times and 20 times the cape was exactly, precisely draped on the floor in a perfect position. I think you have to wow. be a Shakespearean actor to do that. 
The sweet oh, costume green, design 100%. team had to let out the enigmatic Snape cape whenever Alan returned from vacation. When he was coming back from Tuscany with a couple of extra kilos, they made it bigger without telling him. Anyways, you can barely find another costume in the Harry Potter movies remaining that largely unchanged. The cape wasn't oh, the only That's hallmark amazing. of Snape's. He also needed black contact lenses to make the transformation happen. He had, like, Every year for seven eyes. weeks, I would wear black Honestly, contact had, like, lenses, my color finding eyes. an old friend again and a part of myself, Rickman once said. I Do you know how it was so revealed? Mike Newell, who directed The Goblet of Fire, once complimented Rickman on the unique color of his eyes, to which he responded mm -hmm. by popping out one of the lenses. What a shock! These dark contacts helped Rickman feel more unnerving as Snape. He could eat our hearts with a spoon. <laughs> Knew the secret behind the always. I bet you won't be surprised yes, if I tell you yay, that Rickman wasn't really originally did. the first choice to play the head of Slytherin. J.K. Rowling Obviously. herself handpicked him after Tim Roth refused, choosing to yes, act in Planet of the Apes right instead. However, it was Rickman who Rowling had in mind to play Professor Snape, which we are so happy about. Only yes, Alan knew are. the secret of Severus yes. Snape as Rowling revealed it to him the day before the Harry Potter filming began. She certainly didn't tell me what the end of the story was going to be in any way at all, so I was having to buy the books along with everybody else, Rickman said That's in an RTE interview. Did. Daniel it was did that quite too. amusing too, because there were times when a director would tell Alan what to do in a scene and he would say something like, No, I can't do that. I know what's going to happen and you don't, producer David Heyman oh. once stated. However, he didn't spread the truth around even when the Wizarding Saga was over. Following Alan Rickman's death on the 14th of January 2016, his fans appealed to Rowling to reveal that advice she once gave him before filming. The writer replied, I told Alan what lies behind the word, always. The yeah, one who was I thought to love this. the least turns out to be the one who loves the most. Rickman himself has repeatedly said that for him the final part of the Harry Potter story was very important. He used to quote yeah. his character's words. When I'm 80 years old and sitting in my rocking chair, I've I'll be reading Harry Potter, and, and my family will say to me, this, after this all this time, of, like, and I will say, yeah. always. Tell us, guys, which role makes you miss though. Alan Rickman the most? What was your favorite Harry Alan. Potter movie? Okay, folks, so there you have it, that there is my actual reaction to that video. Um, I knew probably about half-ish of that, especially the last quote part it's actually been very iffy like some still believe he said that but a lot of people believe that he like truly didn't i honestly don't know or don't remember the full truth of that to be honest but i one thing i i know decently enough about alan but i honestly never knew or completely forgot that he honestly wanted to have kids but his wife didn't so he agreed to it like, he would have been a terrific father, like, like, if you watch the Harry Potter reunion when they have, like, a whole entire, um, like, piece about everyone that had passed away, they do briefly talk about Alan, and, you, like, you can literally see the emotion, especially behind it, especially with Daniel, because they had a really good friendship and relationship in general. A lot of people would not believe that... Alan was like a completely different person off screen. He was such a tremendous, amazing actor. Like he is in so many movies and it has taken me a lot since his death to watch some of the films that I have never seen of his as I've never seen every single film with his discography. But um, some as they are becoming available on stream services I have, but I guarantee for the people that enjoy Alan Rickman in Harry Potter, you should take the time to look through some of his other films within his career and definitely try to give them a watch because other than the obvious ones like any Harry Potter movies or Die Hard or um, Alice in Wonderland as he's the um, caterpillar in that movie, he voices the caterpillar, please give his films a chance because I 100% guarantee you that you will not be disappointed at all. He was such a good actor. Um, and him being gone for a long time, I really still do miss him, especially as 
a fan of his and someone who has had a celebrity crush on and kind of still do. Obviously, if I write fan fictions involving him, obviously I do. Um, all of it was just amazing. And I never actually bought a copy of that diary book thing that they came out with. Um, there has actually been a lot of speculation behind it, but also there is one thing to recall. He has done physical interviews and he has talked about Harry Potter, doing Harry Potter a lot over the years. So the people that speculate that he honestly did not enjoy or didn't want to be a part of it is actually kind of 50-50 because he actually did think that. But from what I recall, you have to remind yourself when they started filming the movies in the first place, okay? When they first started filming it in the 90s, somewhere like mid and late 90s, there was only a few books out physically that J.K. Rowling had written. So the rest of the books were not even written and out yet. So they were literally going as the books progressed. And I mean, obviously a lot of people don't agree with the books or whatever, but things were different back then. So a lot of the actors like like Alan and Daniel Radcliffe, they were going out and they were buying the novels and they were reading them off screen when they were not filming. So so of course there was a lot of trial and error as the as the years passed by because they were literally just going based off the movies, especially the later movies, like there was only, I think like three or four books out at the time. And I didn't get into it until after the third movie came out because when the first two movies came out, I wasn't even born yet. And I was like around four or five when it first came out. So, um, but even though Alan did have a lot of speculation, it was partly because I think of what um, J.K. Rowling told him about the story behind the word always is kind of, I think, what sort of progressed that, okay, I should finish. But honestly, overall, there is no one else in this world that can replace Alan Rickman as Severus Snape. I don't care what you say. I don't care what anybody says, you know, and that goes for anything that is for being remaked. As the current time of this video, me filming this video, they are, I believe, working on um, doing a series of Harry Potter, but I think they're going to turn into, like, as a TV series wise, they're going to do, um, like, each season based on every book and try to lean more towards the book. And the replacement of all of the people that played each character, even though a lot has come out over time, over the years, about a lot of it like like if if the actors and actresses enjoyed it or enjoyed it not or just did it for whatever reason or whatever they cannot honestly be replaced like it is so hard to replace them and a lot of people did not like Michael Gambon or Gambon however you pronounce his last name as um as Dumbledore because of Richard Harris passing away but honestly for example he really was a good choice decent choice and if a lot of people don't know I have also put this in Michael's um tribute video he honestly really did enjoy playing Dumbledore okay he really enjoyed playing Dumbledore he got close to a lot of cat a lot of the cast members like when um my uh, when uh, Tom Felton um, did a tribute for Michael when Michael passed away. He honestly talked about some of the behind scenes stuff of like, um, like the killing Dumbledore scene. Um, he talks about that and how, um, Michael gave him a lot of guidance and stuff like that and how like, you know, just different little behinds of the story stuff. But Michael really did try his best at Dumbledore and went about it in his own way, just like Alan did when playing as Snape they kind of took the character and still each made it in their own way and it still became a huge part of their lives and I think I knew I hope Alan really knew that because after Alan died a lot of fans gathered together and they made a huge book 
Now this is fan, like a basic fan book with anything you can imagine, like memories or, or hand-drawn pictures or thank you letters or anything at all you can imagine. And so many fans gathered together, made the book, and the person that was in charge of making the book, it was sent to Alan Rickman's late wife, which I believe to this day that she's still alive. But I believe that the book was given to her and her only and I was a part of that. I wrote a personal message and they're saying that how much he meant to me and as an actor and how thankful I am especially because of the fact that I was so young getting into Harry Potter that it was because of Alan Rickman playing as Harry Potter, Severus Snape and Harry Potter that got me into his other discography as well. So I literally, I truly grew up watching Harry Potter and I truly grew up watching different Alan Rickman movies over the years. I still have not even seen every single one of them. But overall guys, I will state that I really did enjoy this video and I hope in the future that YouTube doesn't get, I don't get in trouble for doing this video. I honestly just wanted to do this because I randomly saw it. I never really reacted to it anyway. And instead of watching it on my own, I'm like, let me just react to this you know instead publicly because I am a huge Harry Potter fan and I really really do like Alan Rickman in general people can judge him and stuff or whatever but he was the perfect choice for playing as Snape period and nobody can replace them it is really sad that he got cancer and it is absolutely horrible they diagnosed him when it was too late to do anything about it because he still could have been maybe alive for a lot longer than him dying at age 69 which still is a little bit relatively young in my personal thing and it really does suck but um like i said um you can check out um alan's and um michael's tribute videos in the celebrity tribute uh playlist which is within my profile so go check that out if you want don't forget to like this video if you want if you like this or if you want me to do more random reaction videos over time or comment within my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to show your support because I am as the timing of this video I'm trying to reach the next goal and the support of the public means so much to me and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified for when you post new videos and so with that I will say I love Alan Rickman and I will forever and always miss him thank you guys so much for joining in bye